Hey, it's Joe Lines from The Automator. In today's video, I'm demonstrating a new script, the Simple Blur tool. Now, if you've ever shared your screen and wanted to blur something out, you can now do that very simply with this tool. Let me demonstrate it real quickly here. So let's say before I share my screen, obviously, I, I didn't want people to see a certain part of this GUI, I can hold down a hotkey and do this, and now it blurs, and now check this out too. Now, we don't guarantee this will work perfectly, but you move it, it will move with your GUI. Um, now, like in Zoom, when you're recording, um, sometimes there's a little bit of a lag in that you can see what's behind it. So this is why we say, if you're actually recording your screen, I would suggest you pause the recording um, or stop sharing your screen, one of the two. Um, do the blur, move it, re reset it where you want it to be. And look, you can have multiple. Um, I can do multiple, oops, that's my screen clipping tool. There we go. So now, and when you move it, it, it moves with them, right? I think it's very cool. If you don't like it, you can move it after you've created it. Move them again. Um, and I can double click each one to get rid of them. So it's very cool. Yes, you can do this blurring stuff in post-production in your recording. But if you're in a live Zoom meeting, this is great because now you can share your screen um, with other people and not have to worry about it. We made it, we had another version that used the GDI and it didn't blur it nearly as much, so you couldn't read it. But the problem is, and a, a hero member mentioned this, uh, reminded me because I knew it, but I didn't think about it, was AI now can often figure out what's behind some of those blurs. So we purposely went with a method that really blurred it. I almost wanted to say, hey, let's have it where you do this with our window snipping tool and put it over it where it completely obfuscates it. Um, this this other one, you can see when we do this, you can still sort of see what's behind it. You get an idea, but it, it, I don't think AI is going to figure out what, what's behind there. So, um, so now there is a price for this tool. We are considering merging it with our window snipping tool to have them both together. But um, I think the tool right now is $5.99. Uh, we spent, again, we spent... This was an idea I had of like, holy cow, this would really make it easy. This is, And it'll be simple. And, and it took Irfan a good easily a week probably more hours on it so this is one of the reasons why we charge for these kind of tools but um seems to work really well uh like again like i said i wouldn't i wouldn't trust it to always obfuscate you know on a, um while you're moving it while it's sitting here it's great and and because it's so easy you can choose if you come in here you can choose your hot key of what click key combination with the drag button um, and also here if you come to it you can click and get reminded on how to create it and, and how to destroy it. The destroy, I don't think we can change that. It's always a double click, but you can choose how to create it. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, please like the video if you thought this was cool because it really helps us out. We get a lot more views that way. And uh, we're trying to you know help everyone work smarter, not harder. And hope you have a great day. Cheers.